hello! Welcome to another workout challenge video where I review YouTube's top rated full body workouts. And you're thinking, yeah, I know, you already did this video. Hence this. <laughs> this was the first video. And now this is a part two. Yeah, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm repeating the same video, but to me, I felt like when I did search all of the full body workouts, a lot came up and I just didn't feel like I was being fair to just review five and then walk away. <laughs> like, I feel like I got to do another five. So these again are like the same ground rules. They have to appear on the first page YouTube search, 10 minutes in length, no equipment. And four, because I am a woman, I prefer to do a workout by a woman for a woman like me. So, that, it just makes sense, okay? <laughs> to give you a synopsis of this workout challenge, because I know it's gonna be very chill, it's gonna be a little long, so you know, grab some popcorn, chocolate, <laughs> just grab some junk food while you can sit and then watch me do the workout, because that'll be exhausting enough. But on camera, I'm going to one by one do the workouts, come on camera right away, give you that feedback so it's fresh in my mind, and then at the very end, I'm going to rank the workouts to see which one's the best and if like any of them shouldn't belong on the top rated YouTube search. Just, just gonna be very harsh and honest with you. So let's begin. I was cold, so I put the long sleeve on, which might make me super hot and sweaty, um, but that is a risk I'm willing to take because I'm cold. Okay. So this time around, I am doing the Intense Hit Workout by Chloe Ting. And I've reviewed Chloe Ting before. She's always really good at putting out high quality videos. So the bar is set very high. Um, I'm not too worried. I think I'll like it. Um, this is my first time though trying anything that's very intense or fast paced by Chloe Ting. So I am intrigued. Also, we discovered in part one of the testing top rated full body workouts that I actually kind of like hit workouts. So I'm, I am excited. But like I said, I, I haven't really worked out in a long time. <laughs> so we'll see. No more suckies. Boom. Now my feet are cold, cold, cold. I'm procrastinating. There's a cord here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, well, I took this off and it was fine during the workout because it's cold in my house, but then I was like hot boxing it. So I was like, okay, I need to take that off. Um, the pain that I was experiencing was not from the workout. It's because Dallas is experiencing a cool front. We've been coasting in the 70s and then all of a sudden it just dipped and it's been rainy out, it's, it's nippy, you know, like where you're, you're chilled. And today of all days, I decided to go for a walk and like, I'm not conditioned to do that. <laughs> I, it was fine, the walk, but then when I did this, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm experiencing this icy burn in my throat and it made it harder to breathe and it was a total distraction from how intense this workout was. <laughs> so there's that. She has like everything when it comes to the video quality. You know, she has the on-screen elements so you can keep track of your progress, you know, kind of mentally plan, because to me that's a big deal. I need to know <laughs> what the countdown is till I'm done. <laughs> and then um, I did feel like it was full body, but it was mainly just all focused on cardio. You know, you're doing the burpees and the jumping jacks. And so it's, it's not a fun workout. <laughs> I would tell you that, it's not fun. Um, I do like it though that she sets up all these different cameras to get the angle right so your technique is good and she gives alternatives on screen because a lot of stuff in this full body workout was high impact and so she does like put on screen like a low impact option something that's a little bit easier to do and I found myself doing those and I kind of felt bad I really wanted to do the actual actual workout but you know what there's no shame in going for the alternative if it's for your health and safety so to me though that makes me appreciate chloe ting even more do you think it's crazy that like my bottom half is all jammies because it is chilly in here and i can't imagine myself overheating within 10 minutes i always hit record before i'm fully prepared today is going to be 
Do This Workout Every Evening by Roberta's Gym. Another YouTuber that I've never ever checked out in my life and that's what makes this so exciting, so rewarding. Um, but it does seem, because this is kind of an evening thing, that this has a chance of being a much more chillax, full body workout. <laughs> okay, this is pointless if I'm not pulling any hairs back. Wait, okay, this is weird. It's fine, it's just, it's weird. So I thought this was an advertisement and I was like, this looks like The Sims. <laughs> is watching a little sim do do the workout like it's, it's a little animated person i'm kind of at a loss for words here i am pretty sure that was an old people workout okay well actually like i don't know because like some of these exercises like this i can see an old person doing them why is she still oh i thought she died <laughs> look i can't imagine my grandma doing that like, I've never seen an old person have to do Superman, but you do 12 reps at a time and then you wait 30 seconds. So there was really no cardio. My heart rate never ever went up doing those 12 measly reps. Can't say I did any strength training. I feel like since this is obviously not a beneficial workout, there's not too much to say, but this is the time where I propose the question, to you guys, because I kind of want to like get your perspective on this. How do you feel about watching an animated person do the workout? Like, do you feel like that's the future? It's time efficient, it makes sense? Or does it just like make you really annoyed? Because, you know, when you see a real person do a workout, you know that they worked hard to get there. They have that personal experience. And even though they're not physically there, they're through a screen, so like they can't watch you to critique you, nonetheless, they can give like additional voiceovers to help you with your technique or hype you up or something, just kind of that intimacy. Good news guys, so I have already taken a sneak peek at this next workout and it's a real person. And at this point, that's all I could really ask for. This is the 10 min full body fat burning workout by Maddie Limburner. <laughs> She's gonna burn that fat. Okay, <laughs> bad joke. Um, so right away when I see fat burning in the title, I can, I can assume that this is gonna have some intensity, you're gonna be fluctuating your heart rate, and probably a lot more cardio involved, which I am I'm fine with, I'm down for. I got my same outfit on, because I'm always chilly willy, but not as cold today. Didn't need to be half in my jammies for you, figured I'd dress up a little. She does explain what you're going to be doing in the workout in her intro but I skipped ahead <laughs> and I bet a lot of people did skip ahead so I like that she tried her best to warn me about what was to come but honestly I think every fitness youtuber should kind of know that a lot of people do skip intros and they go straight to the workout just because they don't have time so so many times these Intros include self-promotions and a welcome message. Like, people just don't really care. So, um, but uh, if you're watching this, sorry about that, but uh, thanks for uh, putting that in there. But come, going straight to my first critique, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> like, I wasn't able to mentally prepare the entire workout because I had no indicator of what was coming up next. So I was like, okay, do I need to lie down? Do I need to stand up? Like I had to immediately 
jump into the workout and I also had no idea when the breaks were. And to me, that's a big deal. Like I want to be ready knowing when I get rest time. And I like it too when there's at least five seconds rest in between, because again, like sometimes you have to lie down or roll over and you don't want to take out time out of your actual workout. Cause if it's only 10 minutes, you're, you're wanting to get the full effect. It actually was a good full body workout, but I really think on screen elements would go a long way because it's just, again, it just makes it twice as bad when my body's exhausted and then also my mind because I don't really mentally know where I'm at. She was able to do such intense cardio while talking to you. So that is definitely impressive. 40% of this was high knee. And each time we did high knee, I think it was for like a full minute. And that was just crazy. Like it's intensive, it's effective, but oh my God. And like, I remember in the first round, we did high knee twice. Then she says that it's time for round two. So that means we did high knee two more times. Okay, well that is enough there. I feel like I don't want to be too heavy on my critique because she definitely seemed very much involved with the workout. Firstly, look at that. Look at that. The cat is upside down in space underneath a turkey. <laughs> I was going to say on top. Maybe it's on top. It's space. You don't know that. Ew. <laughs> I think that's asparagus. But also, look at this. Suckies. These are Unicorn 2.0 print by MeUndies. And they match my yoga mat. It is late at night and my eyes are all of a sudden really dry. Ugh, trying to blink, but I think they're getting better. But tonight I am throwing at you a little 10 minute full body fat burning workout at home by Holly Dolk. Again, like I say, it's somebody that I've never heard of before, but they were considered top rated. So I'm excited. <laughs> body twist and she does give you different angles but oh my gosh I mean I learned something new for sure but the first time I did this I kicked the wall and it really hurt <laughs> tired awake scary beauty miss <laughs> I love my ring light we are going to be doing the no repeat full body workout fat burning hit and I'm not gonna lie I love the words no repeat <laughs> and this is by Mr. and Mrs. Muscle, but if you look at the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting the Mrs. But maybe the Mr. will show up. It's kind of weird seeing a fitness channel that targets men and women. Usually they really try to niche themselves and they pick one. But you know, maybe they do well. I mean, there's a reason it's on the first page search results. This is a top rated full body workout. So I guess we can just jump into it. Know what I did in that last workout. I strained something. I don't know if I pulled a muscle or if it just is like temporarily wounded. <laughs> Either way, I'm just gonna go about my day crawling around on the floor. But when I sit like this, it doesn't hurt, but the pain is like right here. And I have no idea if she gave me further instruction uh, with the technique because I couldn't hear her. The audio was so poor quality that I, it greatly took away from my experience with this full body workout. And it kind of stinks because I like the woman, like I liked her technique and her energy. It's just hard for me to say that this should be a top rated full body workout. Welcome back. And if you made it this far, you, you are the real MVP. And I triple dog fire dare you to do a hundred crunches. So bam, I bet you're regretting giving me watch time now, right? Honestly, I didn't like any of these workouts. 
and I felt like a lot of them did not belong on the top rated page and we're about to like get into it one by one when I rank but yeah and like even the higher quality ones were just too intense or high impact like it just it wasn't fun to a point where I'm not going to go in and do these workouts again on my own time like I'm just not actually you know what if you've done these workouts let me know if you agree with me but I'm sorry to be so negative so fast before we even get into the ranking but I have everything laid out on my laptop and so let me read them off to you and we're gonna start at five which is considered the worst and then we'll work our way up to number one to figure out like which was the best out of the cruddiest workouts <laughs> so number five holly dolks workout and it's so sad because i actually did like this one but i had to disqualify her so the title reads that it is a 10 minute workout but that is false it is 15 minutes automatic disqualification but on your own time if you want to check out that workout it was pretty good just mentally prepare it's 15 minutes roberta's gym because of the animated character and that was just really really weird <laughs> I tried my best to be open-minded and like it, but I just, it was weird. I didn't like it. And honestly, that would have been dead last if it wasn't for the disqualification of Holly Dolk's video. And third place, Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. When you think about it, I only experienced 50% of that channel because I got the Mrs. on purpose. I chose her, but um, yeah, the audio quality was just so bad, like so bad. Second is Maddie Limburner, and I will say that I did enjoy the workout, but I felt like it belonged on the second page YouTube search result. I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> like, I think she herself is an incredible instructor, but I think she needed to go one up in upgrading the video itself to be helpful for an at-home workout. I'm trying to picture what it'd be like to work one-on-one -on -one in person with her, and I think it would actually be really effective and great. Like, I think, I, I personally think I would love her in real life. And then in first place, Chloe Ting, which I think you guys probably already expected because she already gets maxed out points when it comes to quality, and she had the intense hit workout. And I think this was just, the issue was the fact that it was intense. I didn't like it. So mm, that is just my honest opinion with everything. And yeah, if you wanna see more of me doing like top rated full body workouts, you know, YouTube picks my workout type video, I am down to do them in this style, in this format. I know this two part series was a little more um, chill. It kind of took a different direction with my usual workout challenge videos. So I guess let me know in the comments which style you like. I'll take a break for now, but I could totally come back to doing a part three or doing this but focus on abs or booty or whatnot. So yeah, I guess it's really the power is up to you on what you want and what you communicate to me in the comments. But be sure to like this video if you were entertained in any way because I did all the dang workouts. <laughs> but also it does help me in the YouTube algorithm and it's much appreciated. So thank you for watching and making it this far. I love you. I mean it. Bye guys.